All right, doing another boa show-off video. So as we all know, black and white snakes are absolutely incredible, regardless of what kind, how big, whatever it is, they are absolutely incredible. That doesn't mean that the normal, regular looking ones or any other morphs aren't absolutely gorgeous. I love them dearly, but there's just something about solid black and solid white snakes that are absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna show off some black and white boas. Now, that being said, Maine here, the Moon Glow Boa, isn't actually pure white. They do have pure white boas. Those are called, uh, they're super fires, and so the fire, that's the incomplete dominant gene, and the super form of that is a super fire, and then they're either called princess diamonds or emperor diamonds, I think, uh, either male or female. But the Moon Glow here was kind of the first one before the fire got established as a proven gene. Oop, sorry, man. Um, and the only thing about moon glows is that as they get older, they kind of yellow out, as you can see with mane, as they get, you know, quite a bit older and larger. But they're still absolutely white. Um, the moon glow, as I, uh, I think I've talked about in previous videos, the moon glow is a three gene animal. And so that is the hypo, the call albino, and then the aneurtheristic type one. There are other ones that are called like blizzards and snow glows with other lines. Um, and then I can't remember what the Anery Type 2 albino, or the Anery Type 2 version of Moonglows is, but that being said, either way, they're absolutely amazingly beautiful boas, and I just want to show them off. And also, Maine is usually pretty grumpy and cranky and doesn't like to be messed with at all, and since he is being very amicable today, uh, just wanted to show him off a bit. And now for the black part. So black and white, yin yang. We saw the moon glow, the white snake. Really wish I had that super fire one day. But now we move on to the black boa. So this is alpha as uh, seen in the previous IMG video. And if you wanna check that out, you can see it right here. Uh, but so IMG, that stands for increasing melanin gene. Uh, it was proved out again by Pete Call. I can't remember off the top of my head. It was in the early 2000s. Uh, when he did it, basically just picked up a really dark animal from, I think, the Daytona show and then proved her out as an, basically a dominant trait. So in genetics, there's the recessive, the incomplete dominant that we've all kind of, uh, you know, gotten aware of, or if you're using technically out-of-date vernacular, codom in place of the incomplete dominant. And then you have the dominant traits, which means it either is or it isn't, and then any other morph or phenotype will express in that. So if you have a... And basically the chances are similar to the incomplete dominant, where basically it's 50-50 if a baby will pop out as an IMG or not, if you breed this to a normal or whatever it else it is. So for instance, if you have an IMG bred to, let's say an IMG het call albino, and you breed it to a sunglow, you will get babies that potentially will be IMG sunglows, which would look absolutely incredible. Basically like the orange in them pops out brighter and darker, and then, you know, theoretically with animals like these guys, the darker it is, like the saddles and the speckling covers that. An albino animal, theoretically, you'll have a much oranger animal versus a yellow animal in that IMG sunglow. So that's these guys. So when they're born, they kind of look like normal boa constrictors, maybe a little bit speckler, maybe their head pattern, their head striping is a little bit different. And as they get older, both with shedding and just growing and getting older, they get darker and darker and darker to the point where you will have some animals, and it's not all animals, they get almost solid black like Alpha here. And if he will let go of me, you can see that really the only, he has a couple spots on his body, like a little freckle here and there, and then his tail has a little bit of color. And that's about it. And then the other thing that's absolutely cool about IMGs is their bellies. They are solid black. They're basically like the black milk snakes or the Mexican black king snakes, where they can be solid black, only they're a boa, which is absolutely cool. And this guy here is actually het for C-A-T positive. So if any of you guys follow like Da Vinci boa or anything like that, you've seen what the T positive IMG boas look like. Um, we've been slow growing our guys and we now have two different girlfriends to pair him to. One is a Motley, one is a Sun Glow. Both are the, T the CAT positives. So hopefully in the next few years, we're gonna have some pretty cool boas. But 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you got to enjoy me just showing off a couple of really cool animals that honestly I think need more attention to begin with, as well as despite however many times I sit here and say I love boas, they're my one of my first snakes, one of my favorite snakes, I just don't show them off nearly as much and I really need to do better about that. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you got to uh, get a kick out of these guys. Oh, I guess he does have a little bit of kind of white freckling on his chin. There we go. Uh, on his chin too. But if you guys are interested in available snakes, merch, want to check out our Patreon, check out the podcast, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, all of that jazz. Stay tuned. Oops, sorry. Stay tuned for more reptile content and animal content in general. Hope this year is treating you better than last and we'll check you next time.